What's up, my YouTube friends and family? We're back, and today we're gonna be reacting to SML movie Bully Wants to Be Cool by SML. Now, as you can see on the screen in front of me, I'm not here alone. I'm here with the wonderful YouTuber, the Angry Bird official plush YouTube family. Yeah, they want you to rate their picture of red and mrs catnap so if you guys like say if you guys are watching our reaction and you can barely hear them talk that's because i don't know if something's going on with the my microphone but we're trying to work with what we got but anyway with that being said do you have any predictions before we get started about this video Yeah. But anyway, with that being said, if you guys would like to check out the original video, the link will be in the description down below, as well as the link to our social media accounts and my second YouTube channel. Make sure you go and follow me there and make sure you go subscribe to the original SML channel, support the original content creators. And to confirm that if you watched this video from beginning to end, make sure you comment five blood drop emojis. And you ready? Okay, all right, so make sure you go subscribe to their social media as well. But anyway, with that being said, let's begin. Guys, we got our first nine weeks report cards. Dang it, dude, that was so close. I could have had all Fs. Joseph, how did you get a D? Bro, I turned in a piece of homework. What? How do you expect to get all Fs if you're turning in homework? I don't know. I wasn't thinking. Next time, I'll try less. Yeah, try what? Less harder next time. Well, guys, I'm on my way to Harvard because I got all A's. Of course you do. Someone say all A's. Jesus Christ, not this man again. When is the ace jokes going to end? Thank you. Oh, God, it's Billy. Oh, come on, Billy. Come on, dude. Why are you here? Well, I heard you guys talking about AIDS, and I didn't know if someone wanted some more AIDS. Nobody said anything about AIDS. AIDS on your report card. You want some more AIDS? We don't want your AIDS, Billy. Why? Because nobody wants AIDS. You're trying to put me with an AIDS needle. We don't care about AIDS. I mean, AIDS is pretty cool. No, it's not. No. You're not cool. You're not funny. Go. So, someone told him a damn lie because AIDS is nowhere near cool. Yeah. Wait. Oh, I am so cool and funny. You're not supposed to be cool and funny. You're supposed to be scary. Aren't you supposed to, like, make traps? I make traps. I make traps. You have not made traps. The last time you made a trap was the Saw episode 4. And that was actually kind of gruesome. Not going to lie. Yeah, exactly. Honestly. All you do is try to poke people with that stupid AIDS needle. I totally make traps. Now you're just the AIDS guy now. Yeah, you're not the funny. AIDS you're guy. Not cool. Oh, I can totally be funny. Knock, knock. Who's there? AIDS. Okay, that's it. Let's go to a movie, Ken. Wait, 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 wait. You're supposed to say AIDS who? AIDS who? You have AIDS. God damn it. Let's go. Really? <clears throat> Come on. Pre sue this man. Someone sue this man. Get their lawyer. Okay. You get Foxy? Oh, Boxy. <laughs> What's up? Joseph, leave. Wait, guys, where are you going? We were just, the phone was just getting started. Listen, we don't want to hang out with you, Billy. We're not your friend. You're not funny. And you're not cool. And you don't even make traps. Honestly. You don't think I'm funny and cool? I'll no. show you funny and cool. I do not like the way he said that. You okay over there? Okay. <laughs> I do not like the way how Bully said, I'll show you cool. Oh God, what's he about to do? The hell? Why you have Cody upside down? Uh, where, where am I? Oh God. Hello, Cody. I would like to play a game. Oh no! Huh? Oh uh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you 
Voice All right, I'll check. I'll look into it. Oh. The TV's upside down. No. You're upside down. You're upside down. down. Oh, that explains a lot, actually. Uh, why? Well, I want to play a game. You'll notice you're holding two ropes. One rope will set you free. The other rope will release the two bowling balls crushing your head. The decision is yours. Uh, I'd like to pull the rope that makes me not die. Oh, but which one? Since you're so smart, make the right decision. Okay, I have a question. Why are you doing this? Well, you don't like me. The only thing you like is balls. So let's see how much you like balls. I mean, at the same time, he is he wrong? Yeah. I see your skull. Okay, but like, how is this supposed to teach me a lesson? Like, do you not like that I like balls? How does that affect your life personally? Are, are you like a homophobe or something? No, uh, I love homos. I, I mean, no homo. I'm not gay or anything, but I'm not a homophobe. I, I have a friend that's gay, I, I think. Do like, you? Like, he gets a chubby when watching football, but like, every. Yeah, I did. Okay. Are you good? Alright. Football players' asses? Jiggly as shit. I mean, I wouldn't mind letting them give me AIDS. Sounds like you might be gay, dude. Anyway, <laughs> do not forget to mention that the rope you pull that saves your life also means you have to be my best friend. Like, I'm talking hangout. Okay, alright, man, sure. I mean, like, okay. really hang out. Like, go to the movies and get the same popcorn and drink all the same slushy. Yeah, that sounds fine. And also, we have to, like, start texting each other good morning and good night and stuff and, and, and start Snapchatting each other and we can, like, share our locations. You sure you Okay, you sure you want to be friends and you just want to date each other? Yeah, exactly, bro. So you want to track your location. That sounds like something you would do with your girlfriend. Are you, like, asking me out? Huh? Yeah, he's the new... Wait, he's the Jigsaw version of Quaymax. <laughs> okay, moving on. Oh, no, no. Are you, like, asking me out? Because it's gay. Am I right? Uh, also, like, you can't talk to that kid doll anymore because I want to be exclusive. I'll even tell you which rope. Oh, all right. Yeah, tell me which rope. It's the left rope, buddy. Okay, I'm just Let me find out he's lying. Ah! Damn, he must have gotten his... Well... At least he died by the objects he loved most. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Yeah. Okay. That sounds cool. Tony Wong. Nope. Bring that ass out. We don't care about politics. Get this ad out my face. And we're back. PJ? What the hell's going on? Well, well, well. If it isn't PJ Crenshaw. Remember Jamie's Crenshaw? Jamie James Crenshaw. What happened? I was right. I guess I was right, huh? Yeah, PJ was in the uh, thumbnail, wasn't he? That's my name. Don't wear it out. But seriously, though, why am I here, bro? What's going on? Well, PJ Crenshaw, you're the coolest kid ever. Damn right. So whoever you say is cool is instantly cool. Yup. So I want to play a game. The machine you're tied to can slowly crush you. The 
has a cell phone next to you. If you call everyone in your contacts and tell them I'm cool, I'll let you go. So what's it gonna be, PJ Crenshaw? No, man, I just don't think you're that cool. No, oh, wow. Seriously, just like pick up the phone, maybe tell a few girls. I mean, even. Huh? <laughs> yeah, damn. Just an Instagram post saying Billy's cool or something? Nah, man, I, I really don't want to flood Instagram with spam posts. I mean, it's not a spam post. You don't even have to say I'm cooler than you. Just, like, cool. Like, like hype me up, dog. Like, say I'm, like, baby croc or I'm the funniest guy you've ever met or something. Okay, never say brain rot shit like that ever again. Yeah, no. Honestly. Nope. Oh, man, I just don't wanna. I don't think you understand. You will literally die by being crushed to death slowly. You you could even just keep the post for like five minutes. Hmm? Spark Have you had Spark Cranberries? Uh, no, I have not. Me neither. I was, I was proud trying it this year, actually. Eh, it sounds alright, but it doesn't really spike my interest. Yeah, it better taste good. Hmm. And so then take it down. You can even say that you got like hurt. No, can't. I really don't think you understand. This will literally crush you to death. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Listen, uh if you just say right now that Billy is cool, like, like no pose, no phone call, like, literally just right now say Billy is cool, I'll let you go. Cowabunga! Bro, I got flattened like a damn pancake. I guess you say he couldn't roll out of that situation. Balloon tits. Okay. Okay. That wasn't really cool. Junior? What? Wait, what's going on, dude? Joseph? Wait, wait, what's happening to us? I don't know, we're in some type of contraption! Help! 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 Wait, Joseph, the TV's turning on. Huh? Bro, they killed Junior and Joseph, what the heck? Yep, they're both in the same room. Hello, Joseph and Junior. Oh, God, it's Billy. Dude, what the hell does he want? What do you want, Billy? Come on! You aren't happy to see me! No, and we don't want to play your stupid games. Yeah, dude. Well, I think you're gonna want to play this game. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna like your game. If you would just give me a second to explain, you might want to play. So, Junior, you are whipped to a guillotine. And if it drops, it will decapitate you. Joseph, you are attached to some spiky wool thing that I made. And if it closes, you will be impaled to spiky things on a wall. Let me guess, all these nails have AIDS? Actually, no. No AIDS on all those nails. Really? That's surprising, dude. Only one nail doesn't have AIDS on it. Only one. Of course. How come, how come Cody and PJ Crenshaw didn't get the contraction with AIDS, but Junior and Joseph do? Honestly, this trend is starting to get more annoying by the minute. Hey, yo. Okay, moving on. <laughs> So it's basically kind of like Squid Game. One one survives and the other one dies. Oh, thank you. I've actually had this one for a while now. I just wanted to put it back up because it's been a while. Yep. You will be set free. So what are you gonna do? Kill your friend and save 
yourself, you decide. Well, I'm never gonna kill my friend. Yeah, you can literally. Nope. You can literally go suck these nuts. Yeah, dude, we're best friends forever. So what happens if we never choose, huh? Well, if neither of you decides who dies within ten minutes, you both go free. Oh well, I guess we both just wait ten minutes the then. For ten minutes. Yeah, dude, that's easy. Oh yeah, sure, you can do that. But let me go ahead and ask you guys a few questions. Joseph, would you say Julia's girlfriend Penelope is hot? Nah, dude. So you think she's ugly? Mm, I mean, pretty much, yeah. Junior, how does it feel knowing that he thinks you have an ugly girlfriend? I mean, he says that all the time. I mean, I like that he's not attracted to my girlfriend. Oh, okay. Well, um, Junior, would you say that you're a racist? No, I'm not racist. I'm. That's a damn lie. You be saying. You know, I'm not even gonna get into that uh, joke. Yeah, like he said the N words more times than I could count. Yeah. Yeah, he literally he was literally tied up to Joseph's leg. He said, I'm sorry I'm not as fast as you people. Like, what do you mean by you people? <laughs> yeah, honestly. I'm literally. Hey, yo. Hey, okay. All right. Hey, friends with Joseph, he's black. Yeah, that's my nigga, though. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. Would you ever say the N word? Like, ever? Uh, no. See, that's my dog. He, he wouldn't do that. He know better. Okay. Well, completely unrelated question. What happens to a little kid's knee when he gets older? Like, like his knee is smaller when he's a kid, but it gets bigger when he's an adult. What does his knee do? It grows. But, but what grows? I, I don't understand. What could be growing? The dick knee. You aren't being specific with your answer. Say it in a complete sentence. What does his knee do? His knee. Do what? Just, just answer the first question. What, what do you think his knee does? His knee. What, you, what are you saying? I keep trying to answer the question. You keep interrupting me. Just answer the first question. Even if I interrupt, don't let it stop you. What does his knee do? His knee. Gross. Oh, he said the N word. He said it. He... Oh. Oh. I get it. So basically. When bully, when Billy kept interrupting Junior, Junior kept saying his knee, and then Bully said "grows," which basically makes the word together pronounced "negro." Hold on, try to hear it back again. If I interrupt, don't let it stop you. What does his knee do? His knee grows. <laughs> hear it now. Bro over here trying to make, force him say the N-word. Really? Yep. Hey, after this, we actually all going to start talking to this cat about counter AI. Alright. <laughs> you made him say it. What do you think about that, huh? You want to kill him, huh? Bro, you hate black people? No, he tricked me. No, I didn't trick you. I, I think Junior said it as a hate crime. I think he was just expressing how he truly feels. Liar! How I feel, Joseph, I promise. Really, dude? You ask me another question, I promise I'm not racist. Okay. If you had to get rid of one holiday, I mean, erase it from existence, the history behind it, its significance, everything, which holiday would you get rid of? Ooh, that's actually a good question. What holiday would you get rid of? Yeah, well, yeah, I wouldn't really know either. I mean, what about Three Kings Day? Because I don't think anyone really celebrates that. Nope. 
Hey, yo. You twerking for the camera? <laughs> huh? Oh. Oh. Mm. Well, let's just keep going. Uh, Christmas or Juneteenth? Dude, you bet. Wait, what? Oh. What'd you get rid of? Christmas or Juneteenth? Dude, you better choose Christmas. Oh, hell no. I'm not getting rid of Christmas. Christmas is amazing. Everyone gets presents. Bro, my freedom is a present. Well, think about this. Look, there's Christmas trees and Santa Claus and Christmas lights. Look, without Juneteenth, my freedom would not exist. That would mean I would be a present to you. And, and, and that's not fair. Okay, just straight up, Joseph. I think slavery is wrong. But if you were my slave, I would give you presents. Bro, I'm pressing the damn button. <laughs> Damn! That escalated quick. That escalated so fast. <laughs> Sussy wussy. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Congratulations, Joseph. You can go free. Oh, thank God, dude! But wait, 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 wait. To be free, you have to be my new best friend. Ah, oh, hell nah. You can kill me right now. Uh, in the worst way. Uh, Why does nobody want to be my friend? Because <laughs> <laughs> your ass is ugly, boy. Ugly! <laughs> That's my question. What's the scariest movie you want us to parody? Uh, I mean, last year they parody majority of the popular scary movies like It. Chainsaw Massacre, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees. But it would be kind of cool to see them do something involving Huggy Wuggy related. Okay, well, if anything, I'll share that clip in one of my community tabs whenever I get the chance to, okay? Okay, so... That's going to be it for our reaction video. If you guys would like to check out the original video, like I said, the link is in the description down below, as well as the link to our social media accounts and my second YouTube channel. Make sure you go and follow me there and make sure you go and subscribe to his YouTube channel and follow them on their social media. And make sure you go and subscribe to the original SML channel, support the original content creator. And to confirm that if you did watch this video from beginning to end, make sure you comment five blood drop emojis. And with that being said, do you have, do you have, uh, do you have anything you would like to say before we end off the video? Yeah. I was thinking about you making a Mrs. Cat not be prepared song. I was hoping you'd do that. Well, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Well, honestly, we actually have a pretty cool one. We have a goofball outfit. I mean, hmm. you know it's a one-time thing. But, you know. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens in the future. But anyway, with that being said, we will see you guys next time. Deuces!